The physical exam for carpal tunnel, rather simple. Three things you have to do. Fennell's test, Phelan's test, and two-point discrimination. Here's how to identify the anatomy of where median nerve lives. By identifying the two wrist creases, both proximal and distal, where they intersect with the palmaris longus. How do you identify that? Have her pinch her thumb and her small finger. The palmaris longus jumps out at you. Directly underneath that is where the median nerve lives. The first provocative test after identifying the anatomy is the Tennell's test, a time-honored test for any injured nerve anywhere in the body. Look how we perform this on this wrist with percussion at the area of the median nerve just with your fingertip. Response of the patient, very important. Look where she says she has pain, tenderness, tingling, or numbness. Let's go on to the second provocative test for carpal tunnel, a Phelan's maneuver. Done by convention for a period of time, 60 seconds, and done by convention with 90 degrees of flexion, boulder flexion, at the wrist. This is how we position a patient for Phelan's test, timed by your own watch in your own office. Anytime within 60 seconds, if she complains about tingling, numbness, or paresthesias in the right distribution, this would be a positive Phelan's test, nothing less. The third test to done on every patient you have with carpal tunnel syndrome is two-point discrimination. You can test this with a very expensive gadget in your office, a paper clip, which is manipulated thus, measuring what's about seven millimeters with a ruler in your office, and by testing her fingers with her eyes closed of what's one point and what's two points on her finger, she'll be able to tell you whether that's normal or abnormal. An abnormal test, two-point discrimination, is pathognomonic for median nerve dysfunction at the wrist. By utilizing these specific physical examination maneuvers, you can help Texas Mutual define the extent of injury for this work event. By putting the positives and the negatives in every one of your clinical notes, you will help us define this workplace injury. Thank you for watching Workplace Diagnosis.